The most challenging scene, I think, to shoot was the coyote scene. I mean, we had these live coyotes. They weren't even properly trained beforehand. I mean, these were, these were in, plucked right from a zoo, these things. And there were wild coyotes that we hired a trainer to spend, you know, four or five weeks with to train them as best she could, and she did a great job. But, I mean, it was a wild card. We had no idea what was going to happen with these things. And I'm up on my dash. There's a uh, Ziploc baggie with the tranquilizer, darts, and stuff in it. Being in the dark with coyotes was a little terrifying. Uh, we all had to, uh, I remember we were brought in this room, we had this meeting about the rules, how close we can get to the coyotes, what we could wear. I remember we couldn't wear yellow. And for some reason, all of the camera equipment that we rented from, yellow was their color. I remember we spent about an hour covering the yellow on all the camera gear, all the tripods, you know, because for some reason yellow and coyotes, it creates some sort of, I don't know, uh, some catalyst for them to just go crazy. All right, guys, this is it. I was so excited to be cast in the film, and then um, Evan handed me a t-shirt and said, you need to sleep in this t-shirt for three nights. Give it back to me. Don't change your soap. Don't change your shampoo. And I was so nervous because these coyotes needed to be trained uh, to my scent. This spreads fear through the entire crew. We're like, oh my God, what are the coyotes going to do? They're going to eat us. We're going to have to be really careful. And I mean, we did. You know, they were coyotes uh, with their wranglers. Um, they, you know, obviously the wranglers know how to handle them. It was still really nerve wracking, especially since we had an actual dead deer that we had to hoist up a tree. So we had to go find a deer on the side of the road, a fresh kill. Now, once we got around to getting the shot with the deer, the deer had thawed a little bit and really, really began to smell. And that was funny, but also really gross. I mean, I remember hoisting up the tree with Elia, taking this deer and really just like tying the rope to the feet and bringing it up the tree and entrails were like hanging out of its mouth or butt. Oh my God. <laughs> we had no idea what was gonna happen with these things. We had to build a 60 foot perimeter, eight foot high chain link fence that they couldn't jump over or gnaw through. Um, you know, we had dead deer hanging from the, hanging from the trees. We had our actresses in, in covered in blood, chained to the ground, and the, the coyotes walking around them. I mean, this was a powder keg of disasters. Okay, holding. Holding. Uh, please turn the work light off. No flashlights can shine towards set. Please. Thank you. Um, and everyone needs to be very, very still. You need room for the actresses to be down, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see where her, where's your place for your actresses. 